Hi. Amanda forgot her biscuits for tutorial. Hmm. Where could she be? Good morning, Miss Chizzy. Oh, good morning. <coughs> How are you today? I'm tired. I'm, I'm Dr. Avery. I will be assessing your fracture today. Since your bones are really brittle, it is called a community fracture. Your wrist is part of the appendicular system. This helps us move from place to place and it ma manipulates our environment. If you look at the diagram here, it represents the anatomy of your bone. <coughs> the outer layer is the compact bone. Within this bone, it is composed of yellow marrow, which stores fat. Even the bone may look solid. It has many passageways that are composed of nerves and blood vessels. A major component of the bone is the osteon, which is surrounded with a matrix tube called a lamellae. Inside the osteon is the central canal, which carries the blood vessels and nerves to supply the osteon cells. The Volkmann's canal lie at right angles at the long axis of the bone and connect the blood and nerve supply of the perosteum and central canals and the medullary cavity. Next we have the internal layer of the bone which is called the spongy bone. This bone is composed of red marrow which is made up of red blood cells. In contrast with the compact bone it looks completely unorganized and full of holes. Trabeculae is produced by osteocytes. Osteocytes are mature bone cells. Trabeculae contain irregular arranged lamellae and osteocytes connected by canicale. Nutrients reach the osteocytes by diffusing through the canicale from capillaries surrounding trabeculae. Alright, so Ms. Chizzy, so that's the anatomy of your bone. Oh, thank you, doctor. I'm a very, very wise old woman now. Good. I hope your wrist heals really fast. Thank and you. You have a great day. Yes, you too. Thank you, doctor. You're I understand welcome. it now. Okay, good. See ya.